Hello folks and welcome back to Snow Runner. This is my speed run that I'm attempting. Uh, just to see how fast I can clear all the maps. <clears throat> I'm trying to use good planning and trying not to have any trucks going anywhere that are when they're empty. So right now we are on day 21. Uh, I think I'm doing pretty good at this. <clears throat> Could have been better. And please excuse me up front. I've got a little bit of uh, sore throat. And I think I'm coming down with a cold. So that is never good. But we're going to try to get through this, uh, mainly because I'm pretty much bored with watching Netflix and YouTube. So I want to do something instead of sitting watching TV. Plus I need some more videos. Right now I only have one video that needs to be edited and put onto my YouTube channel. <clears throat> So I need some more content. Keep this thing going. Plus I'm having a lot of fun doing this. So I didn't know if I'd like the speed run. And I actually do. Uh, it's I'm not having as much fun, I don't believe, as I did in the hardcore mode. but it's still really fun to try this. <clears throat> so what we're doing now is I'm going to head over to why this thing slowed down so much. Uh, I want to head over to Island Lake and I want to complete all the missions over there. Then move over to Drummond Island and then come back here and complete the missions here. And before I go to Island Lake, I need to load up on my super order and on my cement delivery order. That way I don't have to come back over here. <clears throat> and right now, in order to fill my super order for Island Lake. I need to go up to the top of the hill here and I need to pick up there's one concrete block. Yeah, one concrete block. I have on the truck now one consumable on the western star that's sitting at the garage I have one fuel. Now the Western Star is going to have to come back, or it's going to have to go down to. Wow, wow, that's not good. <clears throat> I may have to get some repairs on this. Uh, but I was saying the Western Star has to come over to the quarry and pick up three cement. And then I can head both trucks over to Island Lake. I did get on my one of my other playthroughs because I had a thought last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, as I was trying to get back to sleep some reason this uh, this game popped up in my head and I was thinking yeah I can't wait to get uh, the get it to where you can tie down trucks <clears throat> and I remember watching a video before I went to sleep and the guy was trying to pull a truck he had a the uh, Chevy pickup 
on the back of the ramped flatbed and he was trying to take it someplace and it just kept falling off even though he put it on the back of the ramp flatbed uh, where the ramps are every time he'd go downhill the truck would start rolling forward and fall off the trailer he'd hit bumps and it'd fall off the trailer and I was thinking you know if you actually put cargo in front of it and behind it I wonder if that would hold so in my other playthrough uh, I went and bought I got one of the trucks out of the garage and I went and bought a ramp flatbed and I put three cargos on it and I took the it was the first scout I came to so I took the uh, Hummer and I loaded that onto the ramped flatbed raised the ramps up and I was uh, just happened to be in Alaska and drove around for about 15 minutes on the Alaskan roads hitting rocks and basically uh, trying to see if I could shake the truck off and I couldn't shake the truck off it stayed with me the whole way uh, next I think I'm going to try and see if I can put the truck uh, put one cargo in the front of the trailer put the truck on it and then load another cargo behind the truck I don't know if it'll do it but it's worth a shot but yeah that is a it's a way in order to if you've got three things three pieces of cargo already on the uh, trailer that's a way that you can also haul a vehicle So the ramps, when, it, when they came up, they came up to the back of the Hummer and stopped. They didn't go all the way up. So that pretty much held the Hummer in place. I think I'm going to try some other scout vehicles and maybe even put, you know, like one load on the front of the trailer and then two scout vehicles and see if that'll stay. <clears throat> But even if you didn't need to take a load someplace, uh, like on this map, you know, I'm really close to a loading point. So if I wanted to take that flatbed and a scout vehicle and take them someplace, I could just put three cargos on it, put a scout vehicle on it, and when I get to where I'm going, just offload the three cargos, just remove them. And I think I want to go in here. Ooh, I don't know if I can hook a trailer. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I can. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did figure out we could do that in the last episode. Uh, so I will buy... Yep, got enough money for that. And I will refuel and whoop wrong way and I'll repair and since the game allows me to resell the trailers and get the same amount of money out of them why not and that's one of the things I think needs to be changed in the game now, I shouldn't be able to sell that trailer back for the same amount that I bought it because I did take repair points off of it and I did take fuel out of it so it should reduce the value
Alright, we'll load up with our block here. Concrete. It was blocks, wasn't it? Let's take a look. Nope, map. Because I would hate to get down to the bottom of the hill and find out I picked up the wrong thing. Concrete blocks. That's what it is. Which will make this truck really tail heavy. <clears throat> But I think I will be okay. Oh, wait a minute. I could... I could change that around. Let's unpack the cargo and see if I can do that. Wrong way there, dude. menu there. Ah, uh, wrong again. Where's the menu? Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. It hooked up to the wrong one. Oh, well, won't let me hook to that one. There we go. Lift that one up kind of high. Because these Russian cranes are not very powerful and pack the cargo restore the crane yeah that'll work out better I think it'll make the truck a little more stable Head back down the mountain toward the quarry. I actually went in and after I played this last night or uh, earlier today <clears throat> after the last video I thought you know I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give it a try doing the trials because I would like to get the Joker in this playthrough the bobblehead and after three attempts none of them even coming close to the time I felt my anger welling up and I was like you know nope not gonna do it again that one trial is just a pain in the butt <clears throat> 
And I did complete it once, unfortunately. Uh, I meant to do it, or I thought that uh, once you completed it, you could get the bubble head in all of your playthroughs. And evidently you only get it in the one in the last playthrough you were in. And that's my original playthrough was the one I'd been in last. So that kind of sucks. Because that playthrough now is just a test playthrough. Testing different vehicles and different stuff that I can use in my other playthroughs. <clears throat> I guess I could keep going in that playthrough and just start doing it. Sorry, I was looking over at the computer here. <clears throat> I could keep that playthrough and just do it like I do the hardcore. Because uh, it's... I found that the hardcore mode that I was doing, and if you haven't checked out any of those videos, go over and check them out, the hardcore mode. Uh, it was a lot more fun than the regular mode. I enjoyed it more. So I did something else today <clears throat> that I thought I, I was hoping I wouldn't have to do. And I didn't have to do it, but I wanted to go ahead and do it. Uh, I went to the local Wally World, and as I was passing our high school, uh, there were a bunch of people from fire department and medical staff and all kinds of things and they were doing COVID testing. Well, I haven't been COVID tested. I haven't felt symptoms or anything like that. Uh, I did when it first started. Uh, I thought I had a mild case of the flu, but haven't been sick since. And last couple of days, just felt a little bit run down and I woke up this morning with a little bit of a fever but by noon the fever was gone and the throat's a little scratchy and was sneezing a few times and thinking yeah, I think I've got a uh, fall cold <clears throat> and plus I needed my flu shot I hadn't gotten it yet so I decided to go in there and go ahead and get tested. And it was a drive-up testing. So they went ahead and tested me, and I got to tell you, I don't like the test. Uh, that was not fun. So they take a, if you haven't had it done, what they did was take a cotton swab and shove it up my nose and wiggle it around and tried to break through to my brain. And that is not a feeling I would like to repeat. But I do work with the public and I do work in close proximity to my co-workers who see the public more than I do and I thought you know I might as well do it just to get checked out
Plus, I got my flu shot. And I'm helping Big Jim out. So Big Jim is our governor. And Big Jim said that if you uh, if you don't have COVID to go get tested often. So it will help our numbers out. He's an idiot. But the majority of people in my state voted for him. I was not one. But he's done stupid things like, uh, well, if you think the Democratic presidential candidate can't talk worth crap, you haven't heard Big Jim speak. Big Jim can run around circles and chase his own tail with words like nobody I've ever seen. The man cannot string two thoughts together. He even went and didn't like how our state was looking, you know, the color code for COVID. So what did Big Jim do? Big Jim made up another collar to put it in between. We now have a gold collar. So, like I said, man's an idiot. Oh, and so am I. <clears throat> so what happens when you take your eyes off the road. That damaged my engine a little bit. And that's not going to work too well. So let's go ahead in here and repair the engine. And we'll do the same thing we'll do the same thing we did up top. And as long as the game lets me do it, I will take advantage of it in this playthrough. This is something I cannot do in my hardcore playthrough. All right, let's get going again. Halfway through day 21 and I still haven't made a single delivery.
So congratulations are in order for me and my wife. Tomorrow is my 25th wedding anniversary. 25 years and she still hasn't killed me yet. And I think that's a pretty good milestone. Uh, most people don't last five years. So she put on her Facebook page today something really nice about... Whoa, easy. Something really nice about it, you know, tomorrow's our anniversary and... Yeah, she still likes me and all that. So my reply was... Uh, 25 years without the possibility of parole. She didn't take too kindly to that. But I will put something really nice on there tomorrow to surprise her. Somebody asked me what the secret is to being married for 25 years. And my reply is, separate bedrooms. Because we do have separate... Oh, what I do? I miss my... Yeah, I should have went up a little further. That's all right. It's right over there. I missed my turn in. And this area here is a little more swampy than where I usually turn in at. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm a snorer. Uh, I snore a lot sometimes. Not every night but enough to where I got tired of being kicked out of bed and sent to the couch. So we decided it might be better if I just had my own bedroom. That way I do not keep her up and she does not keep me up. And it actually works. Plus she goes to bed at yeah, around 9 o'clock every night and gets up at between 4 and 5 every morning and I am a night owl so when my day's off I can be up to 2 o'clock in the morning and like to sleep to about 10 in the morning come on you can do it Yeah, 25 years, quarter of a century. And do we have a wolf? There we go, we got a wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Well, poop. I forgot about those. That's what I get for not checking my trailers. I forgot I brought those over.
All right, let's get you up here. And then we, well, actually I can go ahead and make the delivery. And then we will go get the other truck. So I have to deliver to the sawmill. That's where I left my Chevy. Haven't been over here in a while, forgot where the Chevy was. Actually, nope, I'm not going to make the delivery yet. Because I am running out of daylight. So let's go back. And I would like to get the Western Star down there, get it loaded up, and get it out of the quarry before it's too dark. If we get loaded in, there here we go. Oh, okay. Shoot. <laughs> and I forgot to go get the. Alright. I forgot to go get the. I was sitting there talking and forgot all about the cement. So let's go get our cement. Hope that trailer will slide around there. And see, y'all didn't even tell me I forgot the cement. That's all right. I am not too far away. Just need to climb this hill. There we go. Come on, get back up the hill. There you go. <clears throat> yes, yeah, things start sliding down the hill there. Kind of panicked me a little bit. Well, hello, goofball. My cat. Oh, he's decided to come up here and lay down in the chair with me. He wants to make sure my legs don't get cold.
we can load up in cement now. Turn it around. Get up against the rocks here. Three cement. And that should be three. Alright. So let's get out of here before it gets too awful dark. Hey, 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 hey. Let go. Jackass. Cat's trying to chew on my cord. It's the only controller I got left. high here so to quit shifting gears. So I do have a trailer down there. I will have to remember that when I come over and get the loads for Drummond Island. I don't need to bring a flatbed. Talk about the flatbed semi-trailer. I can just bring a flatbed truck over and hook up to that trailer. Oh, where are you going? All of a sudden, the truck took off to the right. Looks like the front end was lifted off the ground. Put it in high so it doesn't go too awful fast. And I would hate for it to try to downshift as I'm coming through here. Avoid the tree. I'd be a lot happier if that tree wasn't there. go this way.
very heavy load, but I should be able to pull through here with very few issues. Hopefully. sure I go down the right path this time. Just counting to double check. Didn't get to it fast enough. Let's just stay in high gear. Mr. Wolf again. And we'll get both of these loads delivered. And I have some recovering to do. I have the Huntsman's vehicle and the Rusty Relic to recover. And then I've got to take... Make sure I get out of here first. And then I've got to take the um, Chevy there. And I have to finish opening up this map. Might as well refuel. here's where we're going to be the rest of this episode and probably the next episode I'm trying to complete all the missions here and I think before I leave this map <clears throat> I'll go ahead and collect all the trailers and sell them off because I'm running short on cash. The bank account don't look good.
shoot. No, don't, don't, don't you do it, don't you do it. And you're going to do it. Dang it. Alright. So it looks like I'm not going to make any deliveries. Yeah, I cut that bridge a little too sharp. And then once I got the, I was trying to get as close to the edge as I could at the truck and screwed it up. So let's start with the truck, see if I can get it turned back up. And I will get this out of here. out of the way. And the Voron has a crane. Luckily. It's not a very powerful crane, but it is a crane. So I wish you could customize stickers because I would customize a sticker for all my trucks that says shit happens. And that's one example. So I'm going to deliver this and come back and start getting those cargoes and bringing them over here. really doesn't make sense to try to load them back up on that trailer. What? Oh. I've got super water. Oh, don't tell me i got to do these in order. Go back. Husky forwarding. Super order. Deliver to the log station. Oh, 
Duh. Oh, I got to deliver them way out there. Well, poop. Alright. So I will need the trailer. It said log station, I was thinking here. That's what I get for thinking. Nope, wrong truck. So let's see if I can pull this out of here. trailer come on dig in let's attach it to the other side There we go. And what I'll do is take the load from the boron, put it on that trailer, and then use the boron to shuttle over until I get this trailer filled up. And then the last two cargoes will go on the boron. Packet. Because I don't want to do it out here. I don't want to take a chance on the landing legs, the anchors actually digging too far into the ground and the truck flipping over. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Let's try it there.
Come on now, when I first come over, I wanted to hook to that one. Alright. Let's pack it. Let's see if that'll help us. There we go. Spin it around. And drop it into place. Close enough. Unpack, repack, and activate my anchors. And we'll go out here on the bridge. Right there. And hopefully the bridge is solid. And my anchors won't fall through it. And see if I can get you up. And morning is upon us. Yep, 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 that's the wrong way. Alright, let's see if I can get this over here. Crane, shut the engine off because I'm about out of gas. Change my truck.
Okay, so we're ready to go. And let's see if this works. Unpack, repack, and we're good. So, I was going to make a delivery of this one, and it doesn't look like I'm going to because it is 6.52 in the morning. So, I am going to sign off here. Let me know what you think in the comments. How am I doing? What can I do better? I appreciate any feedback that I get, and I will see you in the next episode. We will actually make the delivery. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to do this uh, fire barrel something or another over here. And we're going to do that one. And we're going to go pick up the Huntsman's car, uh, which is over in here somewhere, right there. And pick up the Rusty Relic and get those delivered. And then we'll see what we have left over. So I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a good one.